What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Aviators. So I finally got these dumb floorboards done, and I I could have made 10 videos on this stupid little one-hour project that I turned into a week. And um, the next time I say, oh, it'll be easy, I'll just do it myself, no. No. That's not how it works. But anyways, let me show you how they turned out. All right, so there's the RV looking all shiny. There's the Luscombe looking all shiny, other than that ugly red stripe. I can't wait to fix that. I'm a little bit behind though because the guy that's gonna help me do it, um, he's uh, hunting and I'm getting ready to go hunting for a week. So um, anyways, here's the floorboards. They turned out really, really nice. Um, I won't tell you about all the trials and tribulations, but I broke some of them and had to fiberglass the backs. So I fiberglass the backs of these just to give them a little bit more strength. Because you've got this vertical weakness, this sheer weakness, because it's all just kind of laminated together. So I put a piece of fiberglass on the bottom. And then on this one, I actually had to put fiberglass on the top and it's pretty much clear. Um, get the control sticks out of the way. It's pretty much clear and you can't really tell because they're down there. And at the end of all this, I finally just had to say, you know, people are gonna put their feet on them. So you need to just like get over it and install them. But uh, polish the uh, heel kicks, used brass wood screws to affix them. And it turned out, I think pretty nice. And then these um, obviously have the epoxy finish. And you can see where I had to kind of carve that out. And there's a bunch of carving underneath that I had to do uh, to fit it in there. And it just turned into a project. The other question I kept asking myself was, you know, what to do about this edge? Because it has a pretty good drop off here. And I was just going to like router it, but I ended up buying this angle aluminum and I anodized it on this side and polished it on this side and use wood or uh, brass wood screws to uh, affix that in. So I think that's probably the most durable edge I could put there because people's heels are going to be kicking on that. It'll probably drive me crazy, but it is what it is. Um, like it took on a life of its own, but uh, I really like it. And the plane, the plane's looking good. It's all shiny. Can't wait to get the stripe done. I don't think I showed you all the prop after I polished it. Um, but there's the prop. Turned out spectacular. It's my favorite part of the whole airplane right now because I'm sick of wood. Like I said, in the next few weeks, I'll get uh, all this red painted and it'll look pretty cool. So it was like way painful doing this project. And a nor I think I said in a another video, a normal person would have just taken a piece of plywood, plywood, cut it out, put it in there, slapped carpet on it, and called it good. And uh, if I had to do it again, that is exactly what I would do. Um, but anyways, I'll show you a couple pictures of um, the progress I made on this, or, or progress throughout the, the little build here. And then, um, yeah, I'll put those right here. Okay, well that is that. Next thing I'm gonna do, I don't know. I might just go fly a little bit. Maybe I'll do some flying videos. Uh, kinda tired of this. Um, 
right now. But anyways, uh, it's turned out good, and I'm happy. Well, if you like this sort of th thing, like, subscribe, comment, and until next time.